again. Welcome to another mini music class. I have my ukulele here, my friends. Let's start with our hello song. Hello, hello, hello everyone again. Hello, hello, hello everyone, my friend. to start our meetings. Now, I do like playing my ukulele, but I brought another instrument with me today. You ready to see what it is? Okay, I'm going to very carefully put my ukulele back in its spot. You should always be very careful with instruments because they can be uh, dented or damaged easily by complete accident. So you always be extra careful with music instruments. Ready? Here we go. This instrument is made of wood. It is a member of the string family, so it has strings. It has a scroll for its head. It has four tuning pegs and four strings. It has a neck shoulders, a belly with sound holes, a bridge, a tailpiece, a chin rest, and even a belly button. <laughs> and onto it, I also have an elastic holding my sponge. That helps make it more comfortable. It's the right size. And then it does not slide off my neck because this wood is covered in varnish. So it's very smooth and slippy. Do you know what this instrument is? Is it a double bass? Is it a tuba? I hope not, no. This is my violin or my fiddle. I call it both those names. You can call it a violin and you can call it a fiddle. Now, my instrument here has four strings. All violins and violas have four strings, everything and the cello and double bass. Here is the skinniest string. It makes the squeakiest sound. That's the E. Then I'm going to go down to a medium sound on the A string. The third string is the D string. It's kind of, it starts to make a lower sound. And you can see it vibrating. Good. And the last string, I call it the grumpy G string because it's really far down in the basement. And you can really see this vibrate. There you go. The vibration makes the sound. I also have a bow. The bow is made out of wood or carbon fiber and with hair from a horse's tail. Don't worry. It's just like getting a haircut. When the horse needs a haircut, you can give his hair to a person who makes bows and violins. Well, now you know how it works. Let's see how it sounds. If I put the bow on the strings and play a long, smooth stroke, let's see. E string. the violin. All right. Now, I think we should play a game, and I think you know which game it is that I think we should play. Right. 
freeze dance or stop and go. You can play both games. Whenever the music is playing, you can wiggle around. You can move your shoulders. You can do jumping jacks. You can dance your favorite dance steps. You can clap your hands. But whenever the music stops, you need to freeze. And you only start moving again when the music starts. I'm going to play a fun fiddle tune for you. I think that this fiddle tune came all the way from Quebec. It's called Saut de la Pain, the rabbit's jump. And I learned it from a wonderful Manitoba fiddler named Patty Custerock. I hope you enjoy it. One, two, a one, two, here we go. <laughs> Good job. Now it's time for nap time, my dears. Get yourself comfy cozy. You have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Really good. All right, my dears. I will play a nice soft song for you. It's called Valse Giselle, which is Giselle's Waltz.
it's time to wake up, my friends. <laughs> ukulele hello we had some freeze dance time we had some nap time and i hope you enjoyed hearing some music played on my violin or fiddle all right you take care you keep being awesome you and i'll see you next time goodbye